Yo, yeah, what's good? It's your boy Holy, as you already know what it is. So I've been sitting on this video for a uh, for a while now. I want to kind of use this as a way to let y'all know what's been going on in my head, as well as you know my my gratefulness. Um, first of all, first and foremost, thank everybody. Whether you still watch, whether you don't watch, you're not watching this video if you don't watch anymore. But you know what I mean. Whether you haven't watched in a, in a long time and you know this video somehow caught your eye and you decided let me watch it you know this is kind of just my thought process throughout you know the last year or so because it's been it has been a while since i've uploaded consistently i uploaded 23 videos total this year on this channel which is disgusting because that used to be like a two-week period for me i do want to let y'all know that uh i appreciate y'all y'all changed my my mindset um y'all changed my my life really because I, I wouldn't have been able to afford this house you know what i mean this is a this is a nice spot this is a nice spot and i you know i have y'all to, to thank in in some way for part of this you know i, I do have my full-time job but i y'all got me a good bit through youtube and twitch and stuff man and i do want to say you know i appreciate y'all for that i hope i hope y'all's holidays are going phenomenally i hope thanksgiving was good for y'all if y'all celebrate that i hope that you guys have a phenomenal christmas and y'all get everything that y'all want this year y'all get to see y'all's families and spend some time with them i uh i want to go in a little bit deeper on the mindset change that that youtube has brought me because it's you know it's good and bad right it is it is good and bad and uh i i kind of want to take this video to to discuss why I haven't been uploading and why I haven't really been streaming for the last year and why it's been like super on and off and where I'll get like bursts of motivation and then they go away um, the same day. And hopefully this will help like newer YouTubers or if you're, you know, you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel and uh, you're trying to find your own motivations and learn a little bit about YouTube and the way this shit, that this shit works for your, mind you for your mentality you know your mental health in general bro because if you think about it realistically man i really bro i really stopped when i was going up bro and it, it's it's one of them things where like do i regret it nah because i met mad cool people and i feel like i'm happier right now than i was when i was at my peak on youtube um, when I was getting, you know, 30 to 50,000 views a video, like I, I'm happier right now than I was at that point. And it's crazy for me to to sit here and say that now, because two years ago I had a completely, I had a completely different mindset, man. So because YouTube can, can fuck you up, bro. I ain't going to sit here and, and, and keep it light. Like YouTube can really dog you mentally because when I first started this shit, bro, I think I started taking YouTube and stuff seriously at the end of 2020. My mindset was completely different. Um, I think the first famous person I played with was Soldier Boy. And we played uh, Among Us. I played a few games of Among Us with Soldier Boy. And uh, my brain was like, oh, this is easy. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to blow up off of this. Like, I posted the video. I'm like, this shit about to get like thousands. That shit got 200 views. And that was my first like reality check. Like, okay. And this was good to learn early, right? It doesn't matter who you know, who you're playing with. It doesn't mean that you're going, that you're going to blow up, right? So I, I started making more uh, real connections with people. Uh, I started playing with my homie Ryan. I started, you know, I met Jonah J, you know, Lil Brez, all of them. Those are the homies, bro, to this day. You know what I mean? To this day, bro, them, them, those are the homies right there. Love them to death, bro. Genuine connections, man. And I and I and that's what I went for afterwards. After that moment, because you know, you play with somebody famous, famous, soldier boy. Everybody know who the fuck's even if he if he fell off, right? He's everybody knows who Soldier Boy is. So I'm thinking like I'm lit. People people like local are like, oh, you play with something like oh that's Bro, I'm gonna keep it a but I don't think I've ever had like one local person come watch me stream, watch my video. No. None of them know shit. They knew I did it. I'm talking about homies, homies, bro. They don't be watching my videos, bro. It's crazy. So the, the people on the internet have supported me more 
and my own friends, which is nuts, right? It's nuts to think about. Um, obviously, you know, my girl watched my videos, you know what I mean? She loved me. But back in 2020, that's, my, that's where my mindset was, right? And I just would, I wanted to do content creation for money. Like my, my thought process was like, you know, I make videos, I get big, I make money, right? And which, I, which is what I think most people think content creation is. It, it's like, it, when you just watch, when you're just a viewer, it looks so fucking easy. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what made me think that was this dude named Weeby ENT, bro. Shout out to Weeby too, cause he's a cool ass dude, okay? This dude named Weeby um, was uploading videos, sitting in like his kitchen or some shit, just talk, he had a horrible camera, just talking uh, about what the fuck ever. No, not good editing. He was just putting screenshots up on the screen and just talking, right? Simple content. And I'm like, he, had, he was gonna like hunt like 50,000 views, 60,000 views. I was like, I can do that, bro. I was like, I can, I was like, I can do that. And that's what, that's what made me start streaming. I was like, I can make bread by doing that, right? And, uh, but I wanted to do something that I enjoyed, you know, I didn't want to just sit in front of a camera and talk. I wanted to have good editing. I wanted to be funny. You know what I mean? So I put effort into it. I'm not going to sit here and, and act like I started YouTube and was just like, whatever, I, this is easy. I put effort into it. You know, I, I started working with Mudon, shout out Mudon, uh, Danny, the editor and all of them, all super cool people, love them to death. Again, I want to thank Mudon like crazy. Um, for, for picking me up as a client because Lord knows I have bread like that to be spending on editing. <laughs> I did not have bread like that to be spending on editing, but you know, he hooked me up. I want to, I want to give love to Mudon. You know, he's, he's been my friend for a minute now. He gave me this cool, uh, I actually have it right here, bro. It's just chilling, man. For, for my birthday this year, he gave me a, a cool thing with a little, uh, my girlfriend told me what this shit was called. I, I done forgot what it's called again. He, he, he gave me like a note, bro. Like these are genuine connections, bro. You know, I sent I sent him a, what was it? A gold, some kind of car, bro, for, for his birthday one year. But you know, just genuine connections with people, man. And that I've, that's my favorite part about YouTube now, but I'll, I'll get to that point. I'll get to that point. <laughs> um, Again, shout out to Mudan for picking me up. I, in editing for me and everything, even though I wasn't able to pay, you know, an arm and a leg for it, but I was able to pay him. I did pay him, but awesome guy there. He, he taught me how to edit. Shout out to, to Emerald. He was the first person that made my thumbnails. I used to send him really shitty drawings. <laughs> I used to send him really, I'm gonna see if I can find the Minecraft picture before and after to put on the screen because the, what I drew for him and what he made for me was awesome. Shout out to Emerald for, for them thumbnails, man. Shout out to, uh, Gob now, Gob is who who does my thumbnails now. Gob on a stick, that's the boy. So shout out to all of them, bro. Because without them, I don't think I would have found, you know, the creative passion to keep going. Gob taught me how to make thumbnails. Budon taught me how to edit. And because I couldn't afford to have them do it all the time, if I didn't learn how to do it, then I would have, I would have been asked out, right? Um. So both of them love them. Um. Awesome people. So. We're, we're moving forward here. You know, I'm, I'm making connections. I'm, I'm meeting people. They're awesome people. And I started covering My Hero Academia, the strongest hero in, in 2021, around like May. I was covering, I was doing anime content, right? I'm gonna tell you my, the game came out. I wasn't gonna play it. I hate gotcha games. I hate gotcha games, bro. They're so boring. They suck and they're all the same. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all. I, I fucking hate them. So I started playing My Hero Academia because one of my homies at work was playing it. He was like, oh yeah, play it. I said, I'm gonna make a video on it, right? And, and mind you, before this, all my videos were getting like 60 views to 100 views max, right? YouTube wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, they were all getting low views. I uploaded this one, 15,000 views, right? Within like the first couple of days, I got 15,000 views. It was my highest viewed video. I felt like I was on the, on the damn moon. Me and my girl were at Sushi King, bro. I'm looking at my phone every three seconds because I got noties coming through, comments coming through. I'm like, this is lit. But I was feeling good, 15K views, all these comments, all these likes, I had never felt this before. You know, I had a couple of my homies comment on my stuff, I was funny. I get like three likes, I had thousands of likes, you know, and uh, that is when my brain like shifted. I uploaded a video every day 
on My Hero Academia. 30 days, 40 days in a row, bro. And they were all getting views. 6,000, 8,000 people were, people thought I was funny. People, it feels good getting that recognition, right? The, the issue that, that I had was it changed my mindset. And from that point is when I started doing gotcha in like July, 2021. And again, I hate gotcha, but my brain was thinking about money, right? So, and, and you get this little high when you get your first like big video or like you, you know, a video gets really good views, whether or not you're already big or not, you get a little high, right? Like the endorphins go off, you feel really good. So that whole month where I was getting like those good views, I'm feeling good. Little did I know I was digging a hole, bro. I was digging a damn hole. So, you know, PGR came out shortly after that in July, I think. Covered some PGR for a little while. But then like my, because the with PGR, my views went back down again. It, it felt, it, it was, I tried to go back, bro. So I, my brain re-clicked into gear. Like you actually don't like playing these games. You, you know, that excitement that you were getting was from the views and the money. Right, I got, I'm pretty sure I got monetized off of My Hero Academia. Like that's where, that's the game that monetized me. So, you know, shout out to them for that. Uh, but my brain clicked back in the gear. Like, you don't like this. You were just making some, some money and getting views and recognition. So, you know, that feels cool, but the game was boring, right? <laughs> the game was just like every other gacha game. They haven't made an update to it since it came out, bro. It was the same four characters in the game. Besides the point. So, you know, fast forward a little bit. And I started making, I made a video called like gotcha gaming is toxic. And I, and I talked about like why I didn't want to play gotcha games, right? It didn't do well. I got like 300 views. All my viewers at that point were, were gotcha players, right? Um, they didn't want to hear that shit. So I started making anime content again, views dropped again. I'm telling you after the high of having good viewership, it was impossible for my brain to like comprehend not having good viewership again um so <laughs> luckily for me later that year one of the, you know an, a big mmo was coming out right tof in, in in china was coming out bro and while it was a gacha game it was also an mmo which is my favorite type of game um if y'all don't know i play fucking old school runescape a lot that's my favorite game. I've been playing that shit since fourth grade, bro. I'm a grown ass man. I'm almost 30 years old. Damn. Old. Damn. Bro. And, and during TOF, you know, I, I was the only one playing that shit in, in CN on the, on this side, on, on the West. I was the only one playing it like actively every day, um, streaming. <laughs> you would go, you go to the damn tall section. It would just be me there, bro. On Twitch. It would just be me. And, uh, I was having fun, man. I, I, you know, I didn't care that it was just like, you know, 30, 40 people checking me out. Like I was having fun. I met a lot of cool people. Shout out Lizzie, shout out Astral, shout out Limit, you know what I mean? Hyperion, all of them, 9B, like the, like Baldy, bro, the gang, you know, all, all the people from Thick Squad, shout out, bro, a lot of cool ass people. You know, if I, if I didn't say your name directly, I'm thinking about you, bro. I, if I listed everybody, I'd be here for three hours, bro. I appreciate all y'all, whether y'all still watch, whether y'all don't, um, y'all made that time like so fun, bro. And it, it's super cool to like, look back at that time. Cause it was, it was like peak, right? Like that shit was so hype. But again, my brain was still wrapped around money. At this point, my brain is still wrapped around. I'm just trying to make bread off of this game, bro. You know what I mean? And Shout out to TOF. They hooked me up, bro. They got me to like a point. I talked to MTAS. I talked I talked to Tectone. I talked to Afro. I talked like I met so many people. And you know, I'm I'm still this is me. Like I'm still trying to make genuine connections with everybody. Because I learned early on that just knowing people because they're big doesn't mean shit. So I like, you know, I when I meet bigger people, it's not like, oh my God, like I can, you know, I can make videos with them and get big. It's more like this is cool. Like maybe I can get to know them. Right. So I, you know, I, I'm trying to make these genuine connections with these people. I, you know, I met Kabuki when I played my hero academia. Um, I met shiny. I met Vulcan when I started playing TOF, like all these people are just like super damn cool. All right. Like as, like as individuals, they are dope, you know, as content creators are cool, but like as individuals, great people, I know like 
Tech Tone gets a lot of flag. He's a, he's a super cool dude, man. Anyway, let me get, let me get back on topic. TOF comes out. My numbers go back up. I'm feeling good again. I'm making content every day. I'm making money. I made a lot of money off of TOF. In this in this year year and a half that I covered Tower of Fantasy from CN release to global release and and till I stopped playing at the end of last year around this time. Um, what I what I learned was I don't care about money, bro. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit how much money I make off of this shit, man. It, I can hold that motivation for like three months, max maybe. Like I can hold, I can hold the motivation from getting paid a lot of money while I'm not having fun for like three months, and then I shut down. And I haven't made. I made 23 videos this year in 2023. I had like high aspirations and goals for myself this year. I made 23 videos. Now, not to say I didn't do shit this year because that energy went somewhere else. I started going to the gym, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as an opposite. Sw flip the switch on y'all. Cause usually, you know, you guys may have the experience. Y'all could, y'all could feel either way where, you know, you you go to the gym, you go to the gym, you're, you're consistent for a couple of months. You stop going to the gym for like two weeks for whatever reason, you know, you hurt yourself, you got tired of going to the gym, you you were sore and you took a break. You stop going to the gym for two weeks. It's so hard to start going to the gym again, right? That was me for content creation, but when I started going to the gym, I started going to the gym heavy, bro. I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram. If y'all want to, you know, y'all can. I post a lot of my progress there, a little bit on my Twitter. But I've been in the gym heavy this year. 2023, I've been in the gym five, six times a week and it's middle of the day. So when I get home, I do not feel like content creating. That's why I'm doing this shit at five in the morning, six in the morning. When I get home from the gym, I don't feel like, you know, I sit down with my girl, I eat, you know, we lay down. I, sometimes I come back downstairs, play the game. But I, I don't feel like doing shit when I get home. I worked all day, went to the gym. I'm done, bro. It's like eight o'clock. I, like, I don't want to get on this bitch. I'm, a, I'm old. I'm a grown ass man, right? <laughs> I'm chilling at that point. So, you know, I've, I've learned a lot this last year. I do enjoy spending time with, with family. Uh, my girlfriend, she's awesome, by the way. Um, that when I'm content creating, I don't get to do a lot of, bro. It's a mental drain when you're content creation because your whole like brain has to revolve around what video am I gonna do next? Uh, dang, I didn't upload today. I gotta upload today. I gotta stream today. I gotta do this today. And like, oh, I have this video I gotta edit. I got, oh, something, you know, you're like looking at your phone, you got fucking notifications on for everything, for whatever you do, right? For TOF notification drops. You could be in the middle of watching it. Look, bro. You could be in the middle of watching a movie with your girl, with your family, doing something, that notification come through, X, Y, Z just happened. If you go, if you, you gotta drop everything, bro. It, depending on where you are. Like, obviously, you know, if you're bigger, depending on the type of content you make, you got some time. But depending on what, what just happened, you gotta be on that. You gotta be one of the first people to talk about it because once everybody knows, everybody knows. When, this is when you're in like the smaller stages, you know, some people can make that shit whenever and they'll be, they'll be all right, right? Like Moist Critical can drop that shit whenever, it'll be cool. Bro, it's just, it's a mental drain because you're always content brain when you're always content creating. You go to sleep thinking about this shit, bro. And it, it's, it sucks. And uh, I got in the gym because when I was covering TOF, that's what I was doing, bro. I was content brain. I was either editing, recording, or streaming. I didn't spend no time with my girl. I wasn't going to the gym. I was I was a fat bitch. And I can say that. I'm not no more, but I was. I did not. Every time I walked past the mirror, I was depressed as shit. It was sad, bro. I didn't enjoy the game. I was just making money. It was it, like I was slowly falling lower and lower on the mental health scale, bro. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I've learned a lot right now. Uh, when I make a video, I've been uploading a little bit on the Holiest Gaming channel. I want to I want to get back into this shit, but I want to make sure I do it the right way. So am I going to be deleting my channel? Ah, I'm not going to delete my channel. 
y'all y'all probably figure that out by now there's a few things that i want to do okay and i really want to lock in i really want to lock in i've been rambling for so long i hope y'all are i've actually like got something from this i want to do we Be fortune i literally paid for it for an intro i'll show y'all that you know if y'all if y'all want to see it i'll show y'all the intro it's really cool i want to do we Be fortune again um, I want to do it with some of my cool friends. They've already agreed to do it like a few months ago. It's my fault that it's not done yet. Um, again, I, We Be Fortune was the most fun I had on YouTube. Ah, shit, man. Um, I want to do gaming content of whatever the fuck game I want to play, which I've been doing on Holy's Gaming. I don't give a shit. Again, I don't give a shit what the views look like. I'm having fun, right? And I learned that. That's And that's what I want to say. I, that's what I learned about myself. That's what y'all helped me learn about myself, bro. Because uh, there have been a few of y'all. Whenever I upload, y'all get excited. The whole lease is back. I'm sorry to disappoint y'all, bro. I keep coming and leaving, bro. I keep popping in and popping out. Um, I have been uploading a little bit on my on my gaming channel. And uh, I want to start uploading on my anime channel. What am I going to do with this channel? You may be asking. Power World is coming out. I'm hoping on everything that that is a fun game. Um... Super, I'm hoping it's very fun because I want to cover it. And uh, because right now we, we don't know when Blue Protocol is coming out. So that's the other thing. I got to stop playing like CN games and JP games because that, that's a, the other issue is like when the game is going to take like two years to come out, I get burnt out of, of it before it even drops, bro. So I got to start. I got to stop doing I got to start playing games that are coming out now. And Power World comes out next month. And I'm going to play that. And I hope that you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys sub up, you know, subscribe. Um, if you guys are interested in Power World. Because I'm planning on having some fun with the boys, man. TJ, Cynical, Cryptic Boss, all of them, bro. We're going to be running that shit up. Homie GD. You know what I mean? I'm excited. Damn, man. I've really been sitting on, on this video for like like three months, man. I just I wanted to talk to y'all. You know, it's been a while since I sat down and talked. I'm pretty sure like out of the 23 videos I uploaded this year, there's maybe like one or two that I actually recorded that's not a live stream. So this is this is the first time that it's just been us like this in a while. It's been a while, bro. Close to a year probably. Well, I hope like I said, I hope y'all are doing well, man. I hope that uh this is kind of longer than I expected it to be. I didn't expect to talk this long, but you know, this is just like my mentality, bro. If you if you guys are new, if you guys are thinking about starting YouTube up, I'd say definitely think about your motivations. Think about why you want to start YouTube. Think about if that is actually your motivation for some shit. Because it turns out my motivation isn't money, which is what I thought it was initially. It turns out that my motivation is fun. And I just like to have fun. So... And play with my friends, bro. I like playing with my friends. It's so hard for me to play a game if my friends aren't playing it, man. I literally can't do it. Take that as you will. Uh, it's being more holy. It's like always. You already know what it is, man. I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday season. Uh, and subscribe, like, and comment and all of that. I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully consistently. <laughs> hey, man, I'm out this bitch. Oh, man.